G'day, welcome back to another episode of Toggle. Well, as I said last week, we are at Agfest. Traffic wasn't flowing as well this morning as it has in previous years. It took us 25 minutes from when we first got into the queue to get here. But here we are. We're parked right down the back of the paddock, so we've got a bit of a walk to get there. And uh, yeah, we'll show you around for a little bit.
have is a report that it is a myth that all of the horses were shot in the horse. First World War. It is very true, however, that only one horse ever made it over to Australian soil. This was a horse that belonged to into being a bloodhound pack. up another ag fest for the year we're here right until uh, closing time today so that was pretty cool and to the gentleman that uh, popped up and said hey I know you from your videos thanks very much for letting us know <laughs> that was pretty cool so thank you for that mate but yeah no we did lots of shopping I bought some machetes we'll be using them on the track clearing soon Cody got a log splitter we got some wine got some batteries lots of things anyway we've had a really good day so uh, now it's time to take the hour and a half trip back home All right, this is the result of that plate breaking. So that there is the plate that broke off. Now, what resulted was this uh, uh, hydraulic, the end broke off. Also on this here, you can see there's a crack in there. It cracks right along the weld, cracks down there, cracks up there. So that's all cracked. And then we have these two struts here. They go up on the insides there. That one broke totally off and you can see the bend in that plate. That plate's supposed to be straight. That one uh, have already, had already been fixed not long ago, but you can see the weld starting to break again and that plate is bending, so that's not good. And then this here, this is the front bar that actually sits it normally would sit in underneath there. It actually bolts into there. So it sits in under there that all of this other framework holds onto. Now, when everything broke, like <clears throat> this strut there, this end bolts where those two bolts are, and that end bolts where those two bolts are at the front of the tractor. So when everything let loose, you can actually see the twist that's happened in there. Look at the way all the paint's bubbled because that frame there and there has actually twisted. So uh, yeah, it's pretty crooked too. So a lot broke when that went, when that went, that snapped, that snapped, that started to crack, that bent. Not real good at all. We've only had this tractor three years. So uh, I need to get all that welded up again and then, Put it all back together so just for 
Uh, another indication, so this long piece there actually goes in underneath those two, the downright there, and there's a downright on the other side, so it goes along underneath. And then that stay there goes from just down the bottom up to the top plate there. The other one goes over on the other side. And what they are bolting onto is this U piece that's in the middle, which sits at the front here. So, so it sits in under here, as I said, and comes up to about there. And so that strut goes from there and it goes right up to the back up there. Need to get them all fixed. All right, well, I've just been doing some welding here. Uh, welded up this weld at the back. And I'm just welding this plate. This is the plate that snapped off. I'm just welding it back on now. Well, it's been an interesting few weeks. Changed colour, yeah, the red Triton's gone. I've now got the Ranger. Uh, about four weeks ago, there was a bit of an incident with the uh, Triton, which I wasn't even going to explain, but I knew the questions had come sooner or later, so I figured I might as well just get it out there. So uh, yeah, traversing across the side of a slope uh, the grass was wet and the Triton simply lost traction and started to slide sideways down the hill hit a uh, rut where the cows walk backwards and forwards and the wallabies go back and forwards they leave a little rut so just hit the rut was enough to tip it down it went rolled down the hill ended up in a dam no one was hurt that's all that matters so Triton's gone we also we thought well, we'll take the opportunity and we'll get rid of the uh, Jeep because we didn't really like the Jeep so we got rid of the Jeep as well sold that Pulled all the money together. I got myself the Ranger now, which is a really solid work truck. And uh, we also bought ourselves a nice um, uh, Kia Sportage. So all wheel drive diesel as well. So great for up here, just being on the dirt roads. Obviously it's not a, not gonna go bush bashing in the Sportage, but it's fine for getting to and from the house and whatnot. Uh, and this car is the new uh, workhorse, so to speak. So yeah, it's, uh, I said I wasn't gonna mention anything about it, but uh, back when it first happened, I just didn't wanna even know about it. Anyway, what's done's done. Like I said, no one's hurt. Moving forwards. So uh, that's pretty much it for this episode. It's been a busy one. I was gonna show you putting the tractor back together again. Well, I was out all day yesterday and when I got home, Cody had reassembled all the tractor for me. So fantastic, I really appreciated that. Uh, really appreciated that so that's all back together now so the tractor's back together and running and 
We've got two cars that we're both very happy with now, so that's really good too. We are having issues with council that we're trying to sort out, uh, getting ready for the uh, lead in, the build up to putting up that next uh, larger house that we want to put up. So yeah, that's been fun as well. So lots is happening at the moment. Anyway, that's why I've been a little bit distracted over the last few weeks. But there it is. So yeah, thanks very much for uh, being patient and sticking with it. Uh, we're on the up and up now. So I will have more for you guys next week. Hopefully some, we'll be doing some fun stuff. Uh, some milling. The mill's working great now. And uh, yeah, we'll see what next week holds for us. But anyway, until next week, you stay safe. Take care. Thanks very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Uh, it helps everyone else. They get to see the, the, the channel. It gets promoted better. So yeah. So as I was saying, until next week, stay safe, take care, and I'll catch up with you guys next Friday. Thanks for watching. Cheers.